All right, so I will be showing you guys how I made this graveyard build. Uh, the crypt I will be inserting uh, after me showing you how I made the gravestones and all that. Um, and it will be footage from a stream, so I will try to speed it up a little bit so you can see what I did without spending <laughs> too much time watching. So, uh, first we're going to take our trusty pickaxe and we're going to decide where we want the gravestone. So here I want it aligned with the other one, which, so I think this will be perfect. Uh, I usually do one, two to three hacks in the ground. We'll see two, I think I want three. I try to go up a little bit on the side so it doesn't go down three whole ones, but that looks great. It depends completely on how tall you want your gravestone to be. So I try to align it with the other one. You see, it looks good. Uh, so the idea is to cover the armrests, uh, but nothing more than that. So you take your hoe and you raise ground and you place it straight in the middle there. There we go. As you can see, it did not raise it completely. Um, some of the armrests are still visible. So what I usually do is I find ground that is a little bit taller and I stand on that part and I take the level ground and I pat it on top. As you can see, perfectly, perfectly covered the armrests. So that's the base. Uh, for me, I want some of them to have a, a light, a little... Um, candle <laughs> so I take um item stand and I make sure the arrow is pointing at the gravestone and not towards me I want it as kind of as close as possible and then I use um a soiling trophy let's see uh, as the candle and you just place it on top of there perfect on many of these I used railing trophies uh, some of them I used skeleton trophies different colored eyes depending on rancid ones or the base one uh, just to give it a little bit of extra something something some glow green some blue some some red so um, it gives a little cool effect. I think I even used some uh, Draugr trophies somewhere. Oh, I have a Blob trophy here. And uh, so that's kind of the base. Uh, then you can, you can add whatever you want to. Um, you can add uh, with help of the... With help of the cultivator, you can make the ground kind of look wet or uh, freshly dug by doing this and then patting with the level ground to kind of uh, limit that air to just the one grave or whatever you feel like um, would look cool for your, your build. Um, there's so much possibility for adding, adding spookiness here. So the crypt, uh, you're going to see the clip, how I made it. I'm going to just show you kind of how it looks. I don't know how, how much you can see from that clip. So I, uh, added just a basic, a little bit of, uh, shelf framing in here for some boxes to replenish my uh, green light and also for uh, the smelting stations that I have here um, obviously you can add as much as as you want around here um, I just kept it kind of like this I have another smelting station uh, on the other side of uh, the town so uh, yeah 
this is what I did so far. I added a little key here. This is where I usually hang up the, the, the hole. So I have it here. You can have the cultivator here as well. It's kind of neat. So yeah. All right. All right. So the first thing that I uh, did was to make sure it was centered to the entrance of the, um, the second part of the graveyard. And then kind of measured up how wide I wanted it compared to the rest of the things that I had uh, around it. So in this case, the kilns and the the smelter for the iron. And uh, I just wanted it to be just as big as I needed for it to kind of, you know, uh, hold a couple of chests and uh, also be... You know giving this the right look of a crypt so it didn't need to be very big um so i decided to go with this and i also decided to go ahead and do the overlapping stones for uh, uh, a more rough or um uh, exterior um so I did that as soon as I had the outline. I also made sure to put some pillars in the front to give it an extra um, crypt-like uh, look. And um, I got a I got a, um, a tip from a viewer to put some glass panels in between where the wall and the and the um, pillar was. And I was first. A little hesitant I wasn't interested in having glass but I put it in and it looked super cool I will show that in a minute here um, and it also allows it if you have if you have any like uh, light or candles and anything inside to give an effect sh uh, shining through the glass which uh, in 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 the end, you will see looks super awesome. I decided to put some Serling Core um, trophies in there as well. And um, I wasn't sure to what to do with the gap on um, above the door. But I just um, popped some um, uh, beams up there to cover so it didn't have that gap at least. And uh, for... for uh, for extra spook, I put the uh, more green lanterns outside, and uh, and then it was kind of just to figure out. I didn't really know what I wanted to do with the roof, and I was like, "Hey, we need to have stone. Obviously, it's a crypt." So we decided. Uh, you can see my community member Amy is there pondering over what to do with the roof, and I decided to put down uh, stairs. And it turned out really good, perfect, almost. Uh, I took a little uh, uh, the skinny bit of stone in the middle and it just fit perfectly. Uh, with that tiny little bit of overlapping, giving it some extra depth. Um, I had to use core wood uh, to hold up the roof, uh, just so it didn't um, cave or had some issues with the weight of the stones in the middle, especially uh, with where this skinny, skinny bit of stone is. I put a third um, beam. Um, you can use the iron beam as well. It's just way cheaper to use the core wood. So that's what I did. So you can see here, I will line up those two bits and uh, put the third one in the middle try to do so it didn't show as much as possible but you know uh, no one is gonna look up there and think oh there's a core wood beam so ugly no <laughs> so I just went uh, went with that and um, you will see here uh, covering up the roof that it just looks perfect in my in my opinion it, it turned out really great but I bet there is so many other uh, ways to do uh, these crypt roofs. Uh, I decided to put a little trophy, the same trophy that we put uh, in the entrance of the graveyard. The shaman troll. 
and uh, and inside I just put a little two rows of the of the small planks, the small floor woods, and three um, boxes on top, and then some decoration on the on the bottom. Uh, I could put in more boxes here. I just didn't need it. I also decided uh, to put some holders for tools on one side of the wall, uh, giving it a nice touch and more feel of it being a crypt or a storage room. And here we are and it is all done. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you were able to take something out of this and bring into your own build. Uh, I would like to see in the comments if you did build your own uh, graveyard. Please tell me about it. And um, yeah, if you liked the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, uh, subscribe, uh, all those nice things. And I will see you in the next one.